It's time to check in with Doc Rob and the concierge for better living. We take a real, raw, inside look at healthier living while sharing great ideas and improvements for a better quality of life. The Concierge for Better Living will help informed, intrigued, and interested listeners like you make better choices for yourselves and your loved ones. CannabisRadio.com proudly presents The Concierge for Better Living with your host, Doc Rob. This is Doc Rob with Concierge to Better Living at CannabisRadio.com, and it's another fabulous day, and we're talking cannabis, we're talking healthy living, and today we're talking about legal stuff, a little bit of legal stuff, and uh, my guest today is Stuart Titus, CEO of Medical Marijuana Inc., Stuart, it's great to have you on the show. I appreciate you taking the time. I know you're being bombarded left and right by news, and definitely thank you for making time for this show. How are you doing today? Doc Robin, doing great. Thank you so much, and it's a great pleasure to be here with you this morning. Yeah, it's been a lot of stuff to cover, so I don't want to, we could talk about a bunch of different things, and but we're going to talk CBD today, and I've been a big advocate of CBD, and as you know, and you know, I, I, as a medical director of dispensaries in like Arizona, I was talked to many years ago about CBD and the benefits of it with their with the patients, and yet I was kind of stifled because you know in Arizona and my patients we had access to it for marijuana, and then I'd come visit my mom in Florida and uh, see my friends in New York, and you know some were struggling with medical conditions. Some were just, I can see their stress and anxiety levels, whatever it might be. And they were asking me about CBD. And then I come across a company, uh, you know, your company, Medical Marijuana Inc. And you guys are offering CBD to people in all 50 states and beyond. How'd that come about? Well, uh, uh, Doc Rob, I've been with uh, a group of visionary individuals uh, who for many years uh, have been studying and researching uh, CBD and particularly the fact that it's found not only in marijuana, but it's also found in the cannabis plant, which then includes industrial hemp. And uh, over time, they've developed uh, specialty genetics for the plant so that uh, in Europe, uh, we can grow uh, with a certain uh, seeds, genetics, proper growing conditions, we can grow a very high concentration of CBD in an industrial hemp plant. Uh, from there, basically, we uh, extract uh, the oils, and uh, those hemp oils are very high in this uh, uh, compound CBD, and then export those legally into the U.S. Uh, we make our uh, finished products here, and then have them available for sale in all uh, 50 states, just like you can go to the health food store and buy hemp oil. Uh, you can also get our product in uh, uh, various states around the country. Yeah, and it's been great because I've seen it, you know, as a doctor firsthand, you know, change people's lives. And then, you know, myself and personally, my family, I've you know, used the product. Uh, you know, some of my family don't want to get high per se as far as the TAC goes, or, or in fact, they're in a state that they really shouldn't have access to it or don't have easy access to it or legal access to it. So it's been a great thing since, you know, the hemp-derived CBD has come about. Of course, people ask me, is there any difference, you know, between, you know, the hemp-derived CBD or the marijuana-derived CBD? I'm sure you get that question quite often. Of course, there's always going to be slight differences, but are we getting a benefit? Are we getting, is there value? Is there use? How do you guys usually respond when someone asks, you know, about marijuana versus hemp? And and is it CBD is the same thing or not? Well, certainly, um, you know, that question is perhaps uh, best answered by uh, research and uh, scientific community. Uh, certainly, uh, we feel uh, our product has some uh, tremendous uh, health and wellness benefits, and uh, hemp oil by itself is a uh, tremendously strong as far as your omega-3s, uh, your essential fatty acids, uh, other uh, significant uh, immune-boosting proteins uh, in there. So hemp oil by itself, I think, is a, a tremendous product, and uh, certainly I've used it uh, uh, personally and uh, use it uh, every single day. Uh, whether or not you know, there's a uh, great uh, difference between the hemp-derived and the marijuana-derived, um, I think over time you know, more research will uh, prove out some of the science. But uh, you know, personally, I think um, uh, that uh, it's uh, really coming from the same uh, plant family. I, I kind of look at it as, as a tree. Um, maybe the uh, parent would be called cannabis and then uh, the children, one child is called marijuana, the other child is called hemp. 
And uh, I think really it's the cannabis uh, uh, plant, the uh, family, I'm not sure uh, exactly what it's, you know, uh, phylum species, you know, uh, genus, phylum species, et cetera, et cetera. I believe it's the cannabis plant itself is what really uh, is carrying the benefit here. You know, it's interesting being in the cannabis or you know industry over the last couple of years and uh, one of your subsidiaries, Hemp Meds, pretty much helped bring this conversation of CBD to the masses. I mean, I really feel that way. As I said, when I was looking for CBD on, uh, from the medical dispensary standpoint, it wasn't very well known. People weren't talking about it. They were still focused on THC. And then all of a sudden, this CBD conversation just hits the market. And, and, I, and I really got to give credit to Medical Marijuana Inc. And like you said, your group, your team of visionaries and researchers for really breaking down these walls and opening up people's eyes. And I, I really have to give credit to a lot of the legislative changes. I'm not saying entirely, but I know that there's been individuals and families, children specifically, who have uh, been using the uh, agricultural hemp or the hemp-derived CBD and getting tremendous benefits that has been pretty newsworthy. It's been, I guess, one of the catalysts to you know the whole Sanjay Gupta turnaround and, and beyond. So, I mean, you guys definitely deserve some, you know the, the the accolades and the credit there from what I've seen, from you know a little bit behind the scenes. Maybe some of the consumers out there, some of the other advocates, they don't see all the the hard work and the and the battles you guys face, you know, or have faced to kind of make CBD more well known. I'm sure you have a few of your own war stories. Well, uh, we, we certainly do, and uh, you know, the tremendous uh, visionary individuals uh, behind this who really uh, brought this forth uh, back in 2007, uh, they were really researching CBD. Now, this is a good five and six years before uh, uh, products really became available on the market. But, uh, uh, they saw what they thought would be uh, tremendous benefits. They saw that the uh, research community was uh, starting to take a look at this, uh, uh, and um, that we uh, believe we could put out some wonderful uh, nutraceutical products that uh, could potentially uh, start to change people's lives. And uh, sure enough, over time, uh, that uh, vision, uh, even though there have been some tremendous uh, ups and downs and bumps in the road and everything, that vision has certainly come forth. And uh, we've been uh, very thrilled to see uh, what uh, has uh, gone on and uh, uh, wonderful anecdotal evidence that uh, uh, people uh, seem to find some great uh, health and wellness benefits has been uh, very heartwarming and it really uh, keeps us going every single day to try to improve, uh, do things better, uh, make uh, better products and certainly we also have a, a portfolio company that's researching the uh, pharmaceutical applications as well. Yeah and again I, I, as a doctor you know my first thing is you know do no harm and and help people and educate them and and I, and and a lot of people think that i guess cannabis is the end game it's the answer to me it it it's really just the opening it's the the beginning of people recognizing the power of the plants and you know cannabis just helps to kind of be the flag bearer, I guess, or that that journey of, of us re-understanding or becoming more accepting to plant-based medicine. And this is where the majority of the world and throughout our history has used plant-based medicine. But at the same breath, I, I'm excited that you guys, I know we can talk after the ne after this next break, of the pharmaceutical or science-based investments or some things with NIH that are really exciting with CBD. I, I, I'm extremely excited about it. Yeah, let, let's... Uh, Let's take a break now because I have a couple other specific questions and I'll give a little time. But I'm excited today to have Stuart Titus from Medical Marijuana Inc. talking CBD, talking about the changing field. And we are here at Concierge for Better Living, and I'm your host, Doc Rob. The Concierge for Better Living will continue in a moment. Your connection to quality cannabis insurance services is spelled K-A-E-R-C-H-E-R. -E -E That's Karcher Insurance. We have worked with ventures like cannabis for over 60 years. We're proud to represent over 50 companies with tailor-made cannabis plans for owners just like you to insure your product, your plants, and your pursuits. K-A-E-R-C-H-E-R -E -E spells out their full-service insurance services, ranging from commercial to bonds, to personal, from life to health, and more. Contact the team at KarcherInsurance.com and let our experience work for you. That's K-A-E-R-C-H-E-R Insurance.com. 
Contact Karen and the team at Karcher Insurance at 1-844-421-3560. That's 844-421-3560. Growing green to generate more green. Hello to all you happy herbalizers, smiling, trippy hippies, and everyone who believes in freedom and tolerance. This is The Grow Show, and I'm Kyle Cushman. From food to fuel, from remedy to resource. Welcome my guest, Ed Rosenthal, the guru of ganja. Let me ask you, right now I hear your lighter clicking. Are you smoking indoor or are you smoking sun-grown? What am I smoking? I'm smoking concentrate. (laughs) (laughs) Way to get out of the answer there. So you're truly like the, the, the king, right? You just have, you just clap your hands and somebody brings you a bowl and you're all set, right? Mm, I wish that were the case. (laughs) The Grow Show with Kyle Cushman, only on CannabisRadio.com. Chronicling the latest cannabis industry news and headlines. Well, with four states with tax and regulate and the District of Columbia. The state of cannabis. Oh my God, it's refreshing. We have people that generally wouldn't speak on behalf of cannabis for fear of retribution, fear of losing your practices, fear of of many of those things, and and find ourselves in in a a place that we finally can. Bringing you fact-based news and views and keeping listeners on the pulse of what's happening in the industry today. The State of Cannabis. On demand anytime, only on CannabisRadio.com. Cannabis commerce continues to cultivate new markets for adventurous entrepreneurs. CannabisRadio.com welcomes the adventurous to cannabis and commerce. Presented by GreenBiz.com. This show brings together cannabis entrepreneurs and industry experts to discuss today's important cannabis issues. Our discussions will chronicle the challenges faced by cannabis owners and the battles surrounding cannabis nationwide. Cannabis and commerce. On demand anytime, only on CannabisRadio.com. Let's check back in with Doc Rob and the concierge for better living only on CannabisRadio.com. And we're back. Doc Rob here, concierge to better living. My guest today, Stuart Titus from Medical Marijuana Inc. Talking hemp, talking CBD, talking changing the world through a bunch of visionaries who, you know, when, when I was talking CBD, the first thing I did was went out to Italy last year uh, to the International Cannabinoid Research Society Symposium because I wanted to find out more about the safety side of things. You know, you could sell a product, I can tell you it's great for this or that, but I want to know safety, toxicology. Those are some of the things that I look at as a healer, as a doctor, first and foremost. And I was so impressed with this safety, not real any side effects to, as far as a negative standpoint to talk about with CBD. That was one of the first things that you know got me very excited about it and you know even at that talk there was a gentleman uh, professor phd speaking about uh hemp and how you know it's you know so valuable it's a superfood how close it is to hops how it's so related to other plants and nutrients that we already use it's just amazing that the the potential here both on how it's going to change the economy the environment and the healthcare system. So you mentioned before that you guys are doing some research and you've invested in some groups in regards to pharmaceuticals. You know, I believe that the CBD, the hemp oil, is going to be considered this superfood or even nutraceutical that people should be taking every day, even in small amounts, even if you don't have any illnesses or health concerns. I think that it's preventative and proactive to provide the body these nutritious you know, oils, full of cannabinoids that the body has these receptors for. What, are, what about, you know, and then there's this other side where you have really major diseases or major health conditions, and we see there's opportunity for CBD to have a positive effect there as well. What, what are some of the things that you see, you know, generally speaking from your research, from the investment standpoint, you know, that you guys see CBD being a big, big solution for, or at least a big aid in the near future? Well, certainly you mentioned uh, people uh, taking uh, CBD on a regular basis and uh, uh, hemp oil and uh, that. And uh, yes, I I definitely think these uh, essential fatty acids are called essential because they're just that. Uh, The body needs to get uh, these nutrients from the diet and it can't synthesize them on their own. Uh, For example, hemp seed, uh, very rich in amino acids, which are the building blocks of protein, uh, hemp 
seeds have all the essential um, uh, amino acids, which uh, uh, do cover the full spectrum. You know, essential uh, uh, fatty acid portion that we've already talked about, the omega-3s. Uh, so there's some great uh, benefit there. And there are also some, uh, what we like to think, are immune-boosting uh, immunoglobulin uh, protein will definitely help uh, people. And uh, we're very excited about uh, some of the research going on. I think in one of your portfolios, if I'm not mistaken, you you, got, you have a Canalife Science, right? As, as one of the yes, investors. that's a portfolio company. Uh, we uh, definitely have a nice investment in uh, Canalife. And uh, I've been on the board of Canalife for a few years now, so I'm very fortunate to have that uh, position, be somewhat familiar with uh, some of their operations and activities. Uh, Canalife Sciences uh, has a, a licensing agreement with the National Institutes of Health to utilize the U.S. government's patent on the therapeutic use of cannabinoids. Uh, so they have two licensing agreements with the NIH. Uh, the first one is to develop a, a medication for a condition called hepatic encephalopathy. Uh, this is a condition that happens with uh, long-term opiate use or uh, overuse or abuse of alcohol over a long period of time. And um, uh, the company feels that there's a significant benefit with CBD to act as a neuroprotectant in this particular situation. And their second license uh, agreement is to uh, develop a pharmaceutical medication for the treatment of CTE, or what's called chronic traumatic encephalopathy. Uh, this is affecting the NFL football players who have collision, concussion, or subconcussive events on a very regular basis. Uh, it happens with other sport athletes, uh, soccer and uh, uh, hockey, as well as people who've had uh, car accidents and other injuries. And uh, it also affects a lot of our uh, military uh, people, particularly those who've been exposed to explosions or blast or other you know, concussive type events. And uh, we'd like to think we can uh, develop a uh, pharmaceutical medication that will help to protect uh, the nerves and uh, potentially uh, extend or improve the quality of life of these individuals who are suffering with these conditions. Yeah, I mean, that, that's one of my real passions. I've seen, you know, the, the effects of CBD, especially with the CTE. I have a, a former NFL great, I'm being a New Yorker myself, New York Jet, Marvin Washington is going to be coming on the show as a guest soon. And we're going to talk about concussions and, and uh, CBD and what Cano Life, I believe he's on the board there helping out with Cano Life and helping to really educate the NFL. And, and that's really exciting stuff when you see mainstream applications and benefits. And I'm not even talking about the multimillionaire making NFL professional athletes. I'm talking about even when you have our children doing pop Warner football or playing, you know, you know, peewee sports or, you know, things like that and getting bumped in the head. We want to be able to protect them across the board. And I think it's, it's amazing that this is where CBD and where cannabis is going in the, in the very near future or already happening in that fact. Yeah, we're very excited about our uh, research, and uh, hopefully we can uh, provide some solutions, no question. But, you know, when you have a young um, NFL star like uh, this uh, Chris Borland, who was with the San Francisco 49ers, had a, you know, a tremendous uh, initial season in the uh, NFL. Uh, he's looking to be a you know, potential franchise player uh, down the road, and all of a sudden he just decided he's had enough on quitting, you know, because of the... Uh, fears of uh, the long-term effects of playing, you know, professional football over a multi-year career. So, uh, uh, you know, when you have situations like that, that really puts the focus on the uh, safety issue. And uh, of course, we all love uh, in America here to watch our uh, football games on uh, Thursday nights now, and uh, Sundays, and uh, even uh, Sunday and Monday evenings. So it's uh, tremendously popular, and to have some of these great athletes, uh, you know, we, we'd love to have them continue and uh, have uh, wonderful uh, careers as well as be uh, healthy into their retirement uh, years. And hopefully we can uh, provide some solutions and answers for that. Certainly the fact that Dr. Bennett Amalu has come on to our scientific advisory board. Uh, he was the chief pathologist who discovered uh, CTE and the uh, NFL football players. Uh, the fact that he's come on board uh, really speaks volumes to the fact that we really think we now may be able to provide some solutions to these uh, unfortunate situations that have been occurring. 
Yeah, I think it's great research and it's, a, it's really uh, beneficial. I know that some of the other applications we can talk about include, you know, helping Native Americans and, and with their conditions that are most pre prevalent, such as alcoholism and diabetes. I really think there's opportunities there. Uh, I know you guys have some interest in helping in that area as well and doing some research. I think it's a lot of great stuff going on. I think people have to really just get behind and, and unify. And when we get back from this next break, we're going to talk a little bit about some of the, the naysayers, some of the negatives, but some of the, the positive things as well that you know uh, this industry has going on. And whenever you have these walls being broken down, you've got, as I always say, the haters going to hate, but uh, there's still a lot of good people out there. You guys are doing a lot of great work. And again, I, I applaud you guys for you know challenging all those those people that might want to hold down cannabis and not make it available and not promote the science. It's not an easy task, but it's definitely one worth doing. And again, uh, appreciate that from you guys all the time. This is uh, Doc Rob, Concierge to Better Living. We'll be right back after this short break and some really great uh, news out of Medical Marijuana Inc. right after this break. The Concierge for Better Living will continue in a moment. Great websites today need expert web design and development and need to be e-commerce ready and mobile friendly. But building a marketable and profitable website can be an uphill climb. Ready to make your new website or replace your existing website? Think Orange as the new way to get in the black. Orange Hill Development works with Fortune 500 companies and offer the same top quality development service at a fraction of what other providers charge. Brands like Absolute, Carlsberg, and Nestle trust Orange Hill Development. Find out why you should trust your website with Orange Hill. Contact Orange Hill for a consultation today at orangehilldevelopment.com. Cannabis Confidential with Dr. Dina. Candid. I want to give you the inside story. Captivating. I want to introduce you to my kind and amazingly talented friends. Compelling. We get to meet some of the most amazing cannabis activists and warriors around. Listen in as medical marijuana pioneer Dr. Dina shares never-before-heard stories, chats with cannabis insiders and celebrity friends, and provides invaluable perspective and insight into one of the fastest-growing industries in the world. I want to share with you what was once confidential information. Let's expose the truth, discuss the issues, and learn the facts. Cannabis Confidential, only on CannabisRadio.com. The smoke is rising, and the next crop of podcasts devoted to cannabis providers and enthusiasts are ready to be harvested. Welcome to the Cannabis Radio Network, founded by respected rainmakers who have been producing award-winning podcasts for over a decade. Industry headlines, business updates, medical reports, marketing, and e-commerce education rolled up perfectly for your consumption. Let's grow together. The Cannabis Radio Network. CannabisRadio.com Let's check back in with Doc Rob and the Concierge for Better Living. Only on CannabisRadio.com and we're back for our final wrap-up session here with today's guest, Stuart Titus from Medical Marijuana, Inc. We're having a great talk about CBD, about hemp, about the NFL. You know, I, I think that's been interesting for me, Stuart, is that, I, I, you know, people on the outside usually see one perspective. And I'm looking at this industry in so many different ways. I guess that's the holist, holistic nature that I, that I bring to the table. You've got your marijuana advocates who've been fighting for years to get medical marijuana legal. Then you've got your marijuana advocates who don't really want it to be restricted to medical only. They want recreational. They want it legal across the board. Then, of course, you've got those that believe that, you know, want to focus on hemp and, and, and both hemp as an agricultural commodity as well as, you know, nutrition and all the other, and for textiles. And you have all these great opportunities. But if I guess some people act a little bit childish. If they're not getting it their way, if they don't see it their way, maybe they like to make a stink about it. So that's why I always say the haters are going to hate. But, you know, one of the things that I guess is an easy target, but is quality of the products in the market. As a dietary supplement, as a nutraceutical guy, I've been consulting in that industry for over a decade. We still get challenged. There was, a, there was something with CNN or some of the news reports last month attacking the quality of herbal supplements in the stores like GNC. There's always going to be these attacks on quality. I, I, I know that when I first met, you know, heard about the CBD products from hemp meds, 
that one of the questions I asked was, what kind of testing, what kind of quality control, you know, what do you guys do to make sure that we're giving, whether it be a healthy person or someone who's got some health concerns, the best products possible? Can you, you know, I mean, I know you guys address this all the time, but I, just for the listeners, you guys have pretty much above average, if not, you know, you know exceeding, leading the, the category in how you guys manage your quality control. Is that right? Well, for sure, uh, Dr. Rob, we appreciate uh, your uh, comments there. But yes, we do have uh, several stages of testing, not only uh, the final product, but uh, right from uh, the initial extraction uh, all the way through. Uh, so it's uh, the product is tested uh, uh, multiple times before actually coming into the country. Uh, once it uh, comes in here, we uh, do test, and then uh, we have uh, two or three other uh, test as we uh, go through the uh, process towards uh, producing final products. And uh, there are a lot of uh, regulatory hurdles that, uh, of course, we've had to um, cover uh, throughout the years as well. And I think we've uh, done that uh, very successfully. And uh, uh, I think the results just speak for themselves. The product uh, really tests out uh, uh, very consistently and uh, being very, very pleased to uh, be able to produce this product uh, through our uh, company and have it available through our sales affiliates. And then you guys had some issues, though, you know, with some negative commentary from Project CBD, a nonprofit organization that says they're meant to promote and educate. And, and meanwhile, it seems to me they have a little bit of a bias against hemp anything if they're marijuana advocates. But um, I know you can't get into it because there's an ongoing lawsuit. I just, you know, as far as some of the people that, that were part of that report and some of the findings there, and from my understanding, you know, you know that, a lot of that was just – premature re released information and a lot of mistakes. Is that is that pretty accurate? or? Uh, yes, I, I'd say that's uh, an accurate uh, summation. Obviously, we're still in uh, ongoing litigation with some of the parties, and I unfortunately can't really comment uh, too much at uh, this time. Someday the full story will come out, and I think uh, – will be uh, uh, very well uh, vindicated. Uh, you know, as, as you mentioned, some of the parties have already uh, settled, so um, uh, I think there will be some comments and potential uh, video testimony available uh, online, and we'll certainly have that available. And I and appreciate that. I know it's tough when you're in the middle of a lawsuit and you got these, you know, the lawyers saying, Shh, don't say this and don't say that. But I want, you know, people that, you know, are out there, when you read it, you know, a report like that from one group, you know, please, it's always, you know, I mean, I always say there's three sides to every story. I'm sure everyone's heard that before, too. But, I mean, it's, it's definitely just not the one side. And I, and, I, and I personally have seen these products. That's why I wanted to have you on today. And I really appreciate you taking the time, Stuart. I know you're real busy. Got a lot of things going on over there. But I, I just want people to understand that there's, there's different sides. There's different information. Try to get all the answers. The truth will come out. The truth shall prevail, as they say. Uh, and and I, I know that the products, you know, I've used the products myself. I've used it with clients of my own. And while this industry is evolving and new products are always hitting the market, new information continuously, you know, comes to light. I just want people to understand that, you know, the intention should always be to help people, to promote well-being. I know, you know, and I'm not getting into personal stuff, but it, you know, we've all had our health journeys and we've all gotten improved by cannabis to some degree. And... Um, you know, I just think we're at the, still at the very early stages of what this industry holds. And, I, again, I want to applaud you guys and give you guys a chance to, you know, share some information to the listeners, to people out there that, you know, that just stay tuned. Check out Medical Marijuana Inc. Look at the, 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 the projects, the products, the hemp meds, the RSHO, um, some of the research going on with Canada Life Science. And I know there's a lot of good stuff coming out. So, again, I appreciate, Stuart, all your time and all you guys are doing over there. And I uh, look forward to a lot of great things. If people want to know more about CBD, more about, you know, hemp and cannabis and the benefits and the applications, I recommend go to mycompassion.org. It's another nonprofit. And that's really helping people educate. I know that Medical Marijuana Inc. has been a supporter of My Compassion. will continue to do so. And, uh, again, stay tuned. This is your concierge to better living. Thank you again, Stuart Titus from Medical Marijuana Inc., my guest today. Great information. We'll be speaking again. I wish everyone all the best in health and happiness. The opinions expressed on this Cannabis Radio Network program are those of the guests and hosts and do not necessarily reflect those of the staff or management of Cannabis Radio Network. Any rebroadcast or retransmission without proper consent of the Cannabis Radio Network is prohibited.